Hi world, it's Kaylee and I'm back for another video. This is going to be my February TBR. I'm not going to tell you every book that I'm planning on reading in February because I have like general categories of books and I want to have a little bit of freedom within those categories. But then for the first month ever, I'm going to pick from my TBR jar and hopefully stick with it. In February, there are obviously fewer days than other months, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to slow down on my reading at all if I can help it. I am traveling for work for the week of the 13th, see if I can get some reading done then. Typically when I travel for work or have to be in an airport, I get a book at the airport bookstore and that's kind of my main read. But I think instead what I'm going to do is just take my Kindle with me or pick one book from my shelf and take with me and have that be the main thing that I'm reading because on top of traveling, which is going to take a decent amount of time, I also will be doing a bunch of work and then I also will be utilizing the gym at the hotel where I'm staying for marathon training. I can't skip that many days of marathon training, so looks like I'm going to have some really early mornings those days. I will be traveling for one week and then I have some other kind of main categories that I'd like to read from. For my Christmas books that I got, I did not finish all of them. There's no way I'm going to finish all of them by the end of January, which is fine. I still read a lot of them. For my Christmas books, I would like to read at least five more of the ones that I got. Hopefully I can do that. That's kind of my the main thing that I want to do is continue to read the books that I just brought in. Additionally, from my shelves, I want to pick one of my backlist books because that will actually work for a different project that I'm working on. On that I still need to film the video for to talk about. We have the uh, Christmas books, a backlist book, and then also I want to read books that I get from the library. So I do have a bunch of books that I have out from the library right now. I'm currently reading one of them and I finished a second one and so I need to figure out which one I want to pick up next but I have a lot out and I want to focus on reading those. Some are for a project, some are just because they sound interesting. And now let's get into how many books I want to pick from my TBR jar. My TBR jar is actually a TBR mug. Now all of the books that are in here are ones that are on my shelves that doesn't include nonfiction or classics. There are definitely books in here that I have already read or have unhauled, but there are like 200 slips in here, so I wasn't going to sit here and go through all of them and just pick out those ones. So as I go, if I come across one that's like, oh, I've already read that or I unhauled it, perfect, I'll just pick again. What I want to do is pick five books from here and see if I can get all five read by the end of February. So I will just kind of mix these up a little bit and then okay let's pick so i'll just pick let's do this one this one is oh okay so the first one is lavinia so the first book in my tbr jar is lavinia by ursula k Le Guin, which i have started reading a few times and then i always just put it down this one is a retelling of lavinia who is the daughter of the king in the aeneid I have not read the Aeneid or however you pronounce that, um, so I don't really know the backstory, so maybe I should do like a Wikipedia quick summary of it so I have an idea of who this character is. But I'm excited to get to another Ursula K. Le Guin. So that's the first one, so four more. So let's pick. I want to get like one down farther. All right, here's the next one. And we have, oh, okay. So the next one is Snow Country. So the second book from my TBR jar is Snow Country by Yasunari Kawabata. This is a Japanese, I think it's considered a classic at this point. I'm not sure when this one came out. Yeah, 1957. So this one is definitely a classic. This one is about Komako, who is a geisha. So who gives herself without illusions and undismayed directness to a love affair foredoomed to transience. It describes the three visits of Shinomura, a rich Tokyo dilettante, to a hot spring in the west of Japan, the snowiest region in the world. Kumako's sparkling freshness stirs him, and he is touched by the irresistible sadness she makes him feel, a sense of beauty going to waste and of imminent decay, but he cannot return her love, and their strange relationship to which she gives so much is doomed from the start. The San Francisco Chronicle called it baffling and disturbing, <laughs> so we'll see. 
yeah, this one's on my shelf of my Japanese books to get to, so I'm excited to knock another one off the list. All right, three more. So far, we're doing pretty good at not getting any that I have to remove, but I guess it would also be good if I did get some of those. All right, we have the next one. The next one is... Oh, the next one is The Name of All Things by Jen Lyons, which is the second book in the Chorus of Dragon series, which is actually good because I got the third book for Christmas and I obviously won't be able to read it until I get to the second one. But this one is massive. So, I mean, like, relatively massive. No, yeah, it's over 700 pages. I need to get started on this one, like, right away if I'm going to get through it. That was three. Okay, two more. trying to like hopefully get books I haven't thought of recently. <laughs> All right, I have one right here. Let's see what it is. Oh, neat. Okay. So this one is Fear Street, The Beginning. Book four is a actually a collection of stories. And this one is R.L. Stein's Fear Street, The Beginning. It has four stories in it and it says coming soon a fear street movie the reason that i got this besides the fact that the cover was really cool is because my husband and i watched the fear street movies on netflix and freaking loved them i decided that i wanted to read the fear street books this will be a fun one to mix in with my other books all right so that's the fourth one this is going to be a challenging reading month but i'm going to try really hard to stick with it let's get one more all right here's the final one Please don't be terrible. Oh, perfect. Okay. It's Sherlock Holmes versus Cthulhu. The final book then for picking out of my TBR mug, so that was super successful, is Sherlock Holmes versus Cthulhu, The Adventure of the Deadly Dimensions by Lois H. Gresh. This is one that's been on different TBRs throughout the year because I got this one in 2022, but yay, very excited for this one because I did start reading a Sherlock Holmes inspired book last night on my Kindle very much in the mood for some Sherlock Holmes. An interesting mix of books from my TBR jar for the month of February. I have a couple books that I'm really going to try to wrap up these last few days in January. As soon as I do that, I'm going to dive right into The Name of All Things by Jen Lyons to get that book rolling. But yeah, keep an eye out for more videos. I will continue to update you guys on how my reading is going. For the end of January, I will be definitely having a January wrap up slash TBR check in that should be coming within the next few days once I finish out a couple of books and we'll see how this goes. Let me know what books you guys are reading for the month of February and that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.